with the accessible washer for the Harbor. The door works. And check this out. Braille. Yay. I'm so happy to see that. Let's watch the door close. It doesn't close all the way. So you actually have to give it a push to latch it. There's a push to lock. I did not hear anything click, so I don't know whether it actually locks. But you can see that this is a good size room. This is not an adult change table. It is for kids. An adult change table would have been preferable. Roll under sink. This is good. Would have been maybe handy had the paper towels not required someone to back up from the sink with wet hands in order to access them. The toilet. Bonus points. There is a toilet seat. Thrilled about that. There could be a pull-down grab bar here, which is the transfer side, and there isn't. However, there is a nice solid grab bar there on the other side with an emergency button within easy reach. I gotta say, I'm thrilled about this toilet seat. For those of you who do not know, uh, toilets without toilet seats are not handy for people who don't have core strength because um, now in this case there is actually a tank on the back. Many of them know it's just the pipes. But that, this toilet seat provides a lot of stability for people with no core strength. So I'm happy to see that it's there. So overall, decent points. Look at that, a mirror that's tipped. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, I think they did pretty well. This is far better than the accessible washrooms uh, elsewhere on this resort. Way to go, Friday Harbor. The assessment of the accessible washroom that you just saw was done in May of 2022 and the findings were reported to management in the hopes that they would maybe correct some of the stuff that I noted for them. Now one of the things I noted was that there was no wayfinding, no signage. So it's great to have a really good washroom or an accessible washroom in this case, but if nobody knows it's there. So let's take a look and see what they've been doing. So we are now in the area, in the entertainment area. Since I was here in May, they have put up these sound walls because there have been complaints from neighbors about sound, but I don't see a sign anywhere that tells you that there is a washroom of any kind here. There's a blade signage here, the save station, you can see that, and that is the bar area. So where the washrooms actually are, are around this corner. So if you're, if you're here in this area, this is where the entertainment would be. So if you need to use a washroom, you'd probably want to figure out where it is. Um, they've got no smoking signs, emergency exit signs right here. The washrooms are around this corner. There's a regular washroom and then the accessible washroom. You would want to see blade signage up here identifying 
that uh, one of these washrooms is accessible. Private, I think that's a green room for the performers. Maybe some storage. Regular washroom, regular washroom. Who knows? And here, <laughs> I can see that they have not fixed the door closure piece. Let's go in. The door still doesn't close tight. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, Friday Harbor, you get some good points for having an accessible washroom but you lose points for not fixing the deficits and for not telling anybody you've got washrooms. It's kind of like if a tree falls in the forest, does it actually make a noise? If you don't know that there are washrooms, does that really matter? Does it matter to your clients? Does it matter to people who maybe need accessible spaces, who now may not come and take advantage of your entertainment because it is a very long way. As you can see up, up the pier there, it is a really long way to get to any kind of a washroom. So I have to say I'm disappointed because they could have, that door fix for instance, so easy. It's just an adjustment. Blade signage, I don't, I don't know how they don't do signage. You can do better, folks. You did well to a point. You got about 80% of the way there.